Hey everyone, I'm in Manhattan. Uh, it's a group that is setting up a tripod blockade. There's gonna be a climber that's gonna be going up. We're on 47th and Madison, right outside the Chase new buildings that are going up. This is for their continuing continuation of funding fossil fuel, uh, the fossil fuel industry. Go for it, man. As you can see here, they blocked off the street. This is Madison running up and down this way. And this is 47th Street. They blocked off the traffic with hard hats and the yellow tape. Now they're gonna unfurl this banner. Banner says stop funding climate change chase. So again, we're on 47th and Madison here in Manhattan. They've blocked, shut down this street with a tripod blockade. If you want to share this out, you can. Uh, so far, there are no police here. They've blocked off the street, 47th and Madison. Uh, this is for this is Madison Avenue coming here, and then down this way is 47th. It's a bunch of crybabies. Yeah, yeah. They're just shutting down all their heads. About global warming. They're yeah. shutting down people working. Fucking retarded. No business as usual, sir. I know. Don't you have a job? Don't you have a job? Good job. Job. This is 
So there's a, some pushback as you see. Uh, so there's a, uh, what they just dropped down is a representation of oil. Let me see if I can get under here. So this is a pretty well coordinated protest here. construction workers over here looking at what's going on. Again, we're on Madison Avenue uh, in Manhattan. This is Madison heading this way. And then this is 47th Street. And they've totally blocked down this entire street with a tripod blockade. Uh, the name they're saying is Jamie Diamond. He's the president of Chase Bank. Um, and he's continued his funding of the fossil fuel industry. Right now, I see no no food here. That chant is Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. So we saw the Extinction Rebellion about a month and a half ago, block down and uh, climb up uh, light posts and shut down the Brooklyn Bridge for a good hour or so.
Alright, so if you're just joining on 47th and Madison, this is 47th Street going right down this way. This is Madison Avenue. Uh, about 15 minutes ago, a group of activists have shut down this street right in front of the Chase buildings that are, uh, new Chase buildings that are being built right now. Um, they are uh, protesting Jamie Dimon and Chase Bank who have continued their funding for uh, the fossil fuel industry. Yeah. He said, are you an officer? He asked me if I was an officer. Uh, yeah. Wrong uniform, I think. So, so far there have been no uh, sighting of police officers. No police at all. Security has been going? Copy that. Okay. guessing there's security because they look like cops. Yeah, yeah. So one of the activists just told me that uh, they think that the um, Chase security has called the police and uh, that was about two or three minutes ago so they will be coming here uh, quite soon. We have a tourist group over here that are just kind of bewildered as to what's going on. Uh, they have a gentleman with a Stinction Rebellion t-shirt on. 
Uh, that has been a movement that started in London uh, 18 months ago or so. And there was a, uh, an action that happened about a month and a half ago here in New York where they shut down the Brooklyn Bridge. So I guess I'm just waiting for the, uh, the arrest to actually happen. Um, and if I'm uh, guessing, he'll be arrested and perhaps the, the three people that are holding down this tripod will be too, but you don't know. You see the 47th Street here is completely shut down. Uh, this is Connelly's Pub and you got the Algerian Consulate here. And this is just the reverse angle here. What happened was they drove up a truck uh, about 30 minutes ago, unloaded the tripod and put this thing up in no time flat, uh, unfurled the banners. Uh, well, actually first, before, as soon as the truck came in, they shut down the street with the police tape and the yellow vests, or the orange vests and hard hats, and people just followed. Um, and so this has been going on for hmm, maybe 20, 25 minutes now. I kind of lose track of time. Well, thanks for joining in. I'll share this out if you'd like. Josh Friedman is now watching. My man with an eye on photography. Uh, so your name, what we're doing here. Hi, my name is Monica. I'm with Rainforest Action Network, and we are here in front of the new Chase flagship across from the old Chase headquarters and the J.P. Morgan building, the trifecta of Chase. And we are here a few days before their general annual meeting, and we're there going to discuss making more profit off of fossil fuels. Chase is the world's biggest funder of fossil fuels, and we are here to tell them that they need to stop fast-tracking our way to climate chaos and destruction and they need to think about air, water, and human life and stop funding fossil fuels. So we have, right here, we have a 24-foot steel tripod here. We have banner, we've blocked Madison, uh, we've blocked 47th Street in Madison, right here in Midtown at um, 9 a.m. in the middle of work traffic. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Monica. So that's Monica Hunkin from the Rainforest Action Network. They've done a, a number of actions like this, uh, but this is um, kind of a continuation of what Extinction Rebellion did about a month and a half ago during the week of climate action. Uh, it started out in London, but uh, has spilled over, I think it was 80 cities that it went to. 30 countries, 80 cities. Of course, yeah. Okay. I'll send you the, the high res of it. Sure. 
You approve, you approve of this. Yeah, good stuff. So again, uh, I don't see any police. Oh, there we go. So there's a number of co police cars coming down 47th Street. So they're just right over there. If you can see the flashing lights, it's been, um, you know, I don't know, 50-50 approval and disapproval of this type of action that I've heard just on the streets. Maybe you can hear that as well. A lot of people are taking, you know, pictures and are just curious. And we have other people that are going around that are uh, just kind of telling what the action is about. The representation of oil just coming, spilling down from the, uh, the tripod up there. And we're outside the two Chase buildings, as Monica Hunkin had just said before. Uh, the brand new Chase building and then the old Chase building, which is over here, is totally being gutted. So it looks like the, there is a... I don't know if you just heard that, so the cops are now directing traffic. So, it's smart because now they're stopping. I think that was another approval. I think I don't know. Uh, so we're just waiting for the police to actually arrive right now. We'll see what they what they do. So he has stopped uh, traffic all the way going up Madison Avenue this way. So he's just stopping it so he can get the police cars to come in. There's one, there's two. That's how I see a couple of people have just joined again. Uh, I'm in Manhattan on Madison and 47th Street. The police have just arrived where there is a tripod blockade in front of the new and the old Chase building. who just uh, shook the police officer's hand. Those are the police liaisons kind of telling him what's going on. Sorry for the shaky camera. We're trying to get some aerial shots here. Now traffic's being opened up a little bit more for the Madison Avenue se section. Drove by and said to you, psychopaths, climate change is, is, is not real. Chase 
So I go. I see four cops right now, and they're putting the, they're replacing the cones here, so no one can turn down. Looks like he's calling in some kind of backup. I I don't know. Uh, there are still four activists in the street. The rest of the activists are over there in the hard hats and the helmets, and there's a few over there as well. But the ones holding down the tripod, I believe they're going to ask the police to take over for safety reasons, so these guys don't get arrested. He said he's requesting arrest for everybody there? No, he said he doesn't have anything. The only person you can see is the guy up in the tripod, so he's the one who's risking a ticket or arrest. He doesn't know yet. Are they going to try to swap these guys out? Yeah, uh, gonna, we're not going to give him any ideas yet. Okay. So I'm going to give him a timeline. All right. Timeline so right now, well, the one officer had just said that uh, right now, uh, only one person uh, right now is um, being targeted for arrest, and that is the climber up there. Uh, the three others that are holding the tripod for safety reasons, possible that they get arrested as well. But they're just negotiating with their sergeant right now. So my thought is that uh, these guys are Chase guys as well. And they're just out here, they either they're security or they work for Chase Bank, I'm not really sure. The officer's just trying to clear the way and make sure that no one can get through on this section using the existing cones and that were here in the first place. Still, there are only four Four police officers from the NYPD here right now. We have one gentleman up here on the tripod uh, with a banner that says Chase, defund climate change. And they're right outside the new building that's being built for Chase and the old building that's being built for Chase. They blocked 47th Street, which is this is 47th Street here, going up and down. And this is Madison Avenue. And I believe these gentlemen in the suits, uh, I believe that they are Chase uh, employees or security guards. Um, somebody said that one of them was the one who was initially called called the police. Uh, police, another police officer here, he's been here for the last 10 minutes directing traffic. It's probably clotted way down. This is going downtown this way, but traffic heads uptown. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker! 
Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. Chase is getting richer while the people are getting sicker. The arrival of another NYPD unit. There are two people here. That they're basically the police liaisons. She's negotiating with them to see what's going to happen, trying to figure out what's going on. Someone looks ultimately confused. So what I've heard right now is that uh, this gentleman is definitely the target for arrest, um, but they have not yet said if these three that are holding down uh, for safety, the, the trial or dark, uh, for safety, uh, the three that are holding down the, the three legs of the tripod, um, they're possibly up for arrest too, I don't know. I have, to, I have to put this down for a second. I have to grab my other camera. Excuse this. Get on the sidewalk. Let's see if I can get a, a distant shot on the other side. They're going to start the arrest. The arrest. I believe it's just one arrest that's going to happen right now. And that's the gentleman up in the tripod. If you're just joining me, I see that I have a number of other people joining me. I'm on Madison Avenue. And this is 47th going this way. This is Madison going heading up that way. Uh, it's been going on for about a half hour. And around nine o'clock, you had um, a truck pull up. Uh, they blocked the street off on 47th right over here. And they pulled out the, tri the tripod. Uh, they blocked off the street uh, quite efficiently with uh, yellow tape that said uh, Chase funds climate change. And then you also had um, uh, people in yellow vests and hard hats. So the traffic was immediately stopped. They put up that tripod quite quickly uh, and got the climber up to the top. The, then they blocked the entire street with banners and the representation of the black things that are coming down from the, uh, from the tripod is a representation of oil. Right over here is the new Chase building that's being built across uh, the street from uh, the old Chase building, uh, Grand Central Terminal. I'm not going to get a decent shot over here, I don't think. Let me see. But they're negotiating with him right now to arrest him. And I'm going to go back over there in a second. I do want to try to get a wide shot of this.
go, as soon as I get this wide shot, I'll go back to the other side. As I wait, let's see. Uh, David Cobb, how are you? All right, I got a little opportunity here to go across. Oh, I got it. All right, now I just gotta wait across and I'll go back over, capture this arrest. This is with the Rainforest Action Network. Uh, this is about Chase and Jamie, Jamie Diamond being the biggest funder of the fossil fuel industry. They're, 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 the, they're the biggest funders of fossil fuels. Yes, they are. They're the biggest bank, the biggest funders of fossil fuels. I recycle and I work for them. So I use my they're the biggest funders of the fossil fuel industry. You work for them? Yeah. Yeah. I don't bag with them. You should. So there was a, that, that guy I got in a, a conversation with across the street was that he was works for Chase and they said that Chase doesn't does they don't do this stuff like this but as it turns out they're the biggest funders of climate change uh, to the fossil fuel industry what a TP has to do with it it's just a, it's a tripod <laughs> no okay well we, we could go there we, we could go there sure sure So the danger with these types of things is like the safety issue, bringing the climber down. I did hear that say, will he come down voluntarily? I didn't hear the answer to that. But eventually they, I, you know, the last climbing, they did come down voluntarily. That was with the Extinction Rebellion. Gathering quite a crowd over here. Um, when they shut down the streets and they put this up, that's when the biggest crowd started to gather because they really clogged the street here of Madison and 47th going this way. They'll, they'll That's probably arrest him. That's real shit, though, man. They do it. That's real. Chase don't give a fuck. None of these big countries. Yeah, you want to say? Yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't. They, they say that uh, Chase Bank is the biggest funder of climate change uh, for the fossil fuels. They they fund they fund all the fossil fuel industry. So I'm glad you know that. Yeah. I'll see if I can get a little bit of a uh, update from the police liaison over here from the Rainforest Action Network. She's chatting with the police officer who seems to be the one in charge here, right there. And then, oh, there's Murray. He's actually been a guy that's been around for a while. Uh, the bald-headed gentleman, he's usually in his white shirt, but today he's in jeans and uh, semi-civvies, I guess. I met him... Uh, during Occupy, shall we say. It's not just the negotiating between the police liaison. Um, 
and I believe that's uh, where is Eric? Over More officers are, have arrived along with Officer Murray, and I believe that's Michael DeBonis, uh, who's head of DCPI. I'm gonna get a confirmation on that though. Yeah, per, per, <laughs> perhaps not surprising. Hey man, is that the bonus? That's the bonus. Hmm? No, that's no? Google. Google. That, thank you. And that's my man Murray. Then we laugh together. Kind of, we're smiling much too much. Smiling is good though, right? Yes, yes, yes. Keep from getting hit. Smiling, <laughs> yes, exactly. Especially when you're blocking traffic, right? <laughs> So, uh, more cops arrive, and it looks like Murray's calling in to see what what the next step is to do to get the climber down. If you're just joining uh, or need a refresher, this is Madison Avenue right over here, and this is 47th going here in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, the group brought in a truck, uh, turned left uh, from Madison onto 47th, then immediately block traffic with a number of cones and yellow tape, uh, unfurled banners, put this tripod up quite quickly. And he climbed up um, and then dropped what is the representation of oil, those, the black, right outside the Chase building over here. Uh, this is the new Chase building, and then over here is the, the old, excuse me, that's, good, that's uh, essentially being gutted and demolished. This is the old Chase building. I've been uh, told to move to the sidewalk. This, uh, no, this, this is the Rainforest Action Network. That is a, yes, yeah, yeah. I believe there's Extinction Rebellion people here too. I, I'm not. I, you can. You should talk to one of these people. And just cover them. So the woman there in front of the banner, Chase to fund climate change, she's talking to the, the climber up and seeing she's being the liaison between the NYPD um, and the activist that has climbed and has been blocking traffic now for about 40 minutes or so. Over here beneath the Chase um, banner over here is a number of the activists that were blocking traffic that were part of this action. And there's also some of them over here. I'm going to scoot onto the other side. Uh, I'm not liking that angle. I'm going. I'm going right back over. And there, there's um, 
some support here and there's some some dissension as well. Yes. Uh, this is it's an action they're doing from the Rainforest Action Network and in front of the Chase buildings who are the biggest funders of, of uh, fossil fuel industry. Oh, no way. Yeah. How long have you been here on this? Uh... About 40, 45 minutes. And they've been here for 45 minutes? Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm live, by the way. What's that? I guess I'm going online. I'm shooting stairs for some reason. What's your name? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, right. So really, it's just a negotiating part that's happening right now. Uh, but the rest will happen. I'm going to stay live until they bring him down. A number of people are just joining. So uh, there's a climber here uh, in a tripod on 47th and Madison, right outside the Chase buildings. This is the new Chase building, and you can see a number of the employees in the new Chase building across the street from the old Chase building. Chase being the largest funder of fossil fuel industries, so the Rainforest Action Network and members of the Extinction Rebellion uh, have come here uh, and have blockaded this for about 40, 45 minutes, I'd say. Um, it took a while for the police to arrive, so they blocked off this main artery of Manhattan. This being 47th Street coming down this way, this being Madison uh, over my shoulder. And uh, now they're just trying to negotiate with the police liaison, who's uh, the woman in the boots and her hands in her back pockets, um, to try to get this climber down. Um, I'm thinking that they are going to try to leave him up as long as possible. Um, the support on the street has been uh, mixed. Um, so many people supporting it, uh, not knowing that Chase is the biggest funder of fossil fuel industries. Uh, other people just you know, yelling the typical kind of get a job, um, climate change is a fraud, that type of thing. I had an employee from Chase, actually, I was crossing the street with, and they, he just denied that Chase even does stuff like that. And he, his response to me was, I recycle, I work for Chase. Uh, Maybe I can pop over there and see if I can get a little bit more. Hey, can I get a bit of an update? I'm live. No? What? Whatever you can tell me? Guys, can we just do it on the sidewalk, please? So what's the update right now? The update right now is we're not sure. There's some confusion between the number of warnings and, like, things going up the chain. And so the question is whether the three people at the base are also risking arrest right now. Um, and if we start disassembling, if they will be not risking arrest at the base. But regardless, they're now saying that the climber will most likely 90% be arrested. 90%. Thank you. So if you couldn't hear that, um, there's a bit of uh, a debate as to how many warnings were given. And that's what they were negotiating. Um, because the three that are holding the base down for safety reasons, uh, that if they disobeyed that third warning, they will be arrested or there's a potential that they will be arrested. 90% uh, chance is what she said that um, the climber will be arrested right now. So they're just kind of running this up the chain. That's Officer Murray from the NYPD who's just kind of running the show here. Uh, he arrived, I don't know, 10, 10 minutes or so ago. Um, again, if you're just joining me, we're on 47th and Madison where a, uh, the Rainforest Action Network, members of Extinction Rebellion and uh, other activists um, have shut down the street and erected this tripod here where he's climbed right outside the Chase buildings. 
Uh, this Chase building is the brand new building, and then this is the old building that's being gutted. Probably going to be made into luxury condos, I would say. Um, if I didn't mention it, this is Madison going up this way, and the cross street here where the tripod is actually erected is, uh, this is 47th Street. So there's a cab that actually needs to get yeah. through right now. Hold on one second. Alright, it looks like uh, you have uh, members of the SRG group, the Strategic Rem uh, Response Group that have arrived. Uh, those are the guys with the baseball hats. And then the emergency service unit, usually they come in with uh, ladders and helmets uh, to bring these, cl these, these, uh, these climbers down. For some reason, that guy got through. I, I don't know why or how. Good to see you. So then you have more. A couple officers taking their own shots here. Ladies and gentlemen, please step back onto the sidewalk. Please step back up on the sidewalk. Now they're unfurling the uh, white do not cross tape here. Um, members of the press are able to go across police lines, but as soon as they say I can leave, I have to leave. And far more officers have arrived here. Um, it's about, been about 45, maybe 50 minutes, I'd say. And also the number of white shirts who are the guys who kind of run the show. Uh, I did see members of the strategic response group that are here. So I still have more people joining me. I'll give you another brief recap because I have time um, before they really start to negotiate. She's still negotiating over there. That's the police liaison in the boots. Um, discussing with uh, a number of the officers of what needs to be done. Her update was that they uh, there was a misunderstanding as to how many warnings were given. And uh, that's why um, Officer Murray's running it up the chain to see if the three gentlemen that are holding down the, tri the tripod are going to be arrested along with the one on top. They said 90% chance that the guy up top is going to be arrested. We're on Madison, which is, runs this way, and then 47th Street, which runs this way where the tripod is set up. About 45, 50 minutes ago, a truck pulled up. Um, members of uh, Rainforest Action Network, Extinction Rebellion, other activists block this sidewalk running here with yellow tape, yellow, uh, red, uh, orange vest, hard hats. Um, they pulled out the tripod, erected it, went up very quickly. He got up there in like five minutes. There's people that work for Chase Bank that are just hanging out, watching. Um, and then this has been going on for, you know, again, about 50, 50 or so minutes. Uh, Chase, uh, this is outside the Chase buildings. This is the new Chase building. This is the old Chase building. Chase being the largest funder of fossil fuels. Um, I, 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 the biggest bank that funds fossil fuels. Um, so that is probably the LRAD, which is going to be the, um, the device, or maybe it's just a speaker, I don't know, that is going to give more warnings here. Um, let's see what he opens up from that bag. Yeah, that's the, the PA system that they use that's going to give those warnings. They really don't want to um, leave the tripod unattended. It's dangerous. What I imagine is um, if they're going to let these three guys go that are around that, that side, they'll bring in three other officers to make sure that they can get him down safely and that it doesn't collapse in on itself.
So you really just, uh, it's down to about, just in this short stretch, down to the bus lane, and then two. And then, and then uh, another, another lane of traffic that's running up this way. So it looks like she's gonna be trying to negotiate a little bit with uh, the climber. She's the police liaison there. So yeah, they are gonna, looks like they're gonna bring in three other officers. They're gonna let, let the tripod holders go. So there's one and then there's the other. So that's uh, officer from the emergency service unit just said he really wants to get him down before something silly happens. He's got three officers now that are holding down the tripod legs. So it looks like they are going to bring him down. They just said uh, they've been in constant communication with him up there. And I believe he has a, a, a small GoPro. So he is bringing himself down. So they want him to take down the representations of oil that are spilling off of this. Uh, uh, it's just, they're saying it's gonna be safer. So they wanna hand him a pair of scissors so that can come down so it will be safer for him to, uh, cut, for him to come down. They don't wanna give him scissors. Uh, could be considered a weapon, apparently. So he's gonna come down. It's gonna be just gonna be a little more difficult, um, not as safe, I guess. Guys, you're gonna have to get on the side. 
He is down. Uh, again, you have the, the three officers that kind of filled in for the three activists that were holding down the three tripod legs. They are not getting arrested. Uh, but this gentleman by the name of Laurel is getting arrested. Apparently. Laurel! And they are cuffing him right now. What's Laura's last Laurel, Laurel. Yeah, Laurel Sutherland. It's Laurel Sutherland, the climber, and they're getting him uh, arrested there. Watch your watch your So only one arrest on that. I'm gonna head back down to see what they're doing with the with the tripod. But um, appreciate uh, tuning in and sharing it and liking it.
Alright, so now it's just gonna open back up. Uh, I'm just gonna give a small little recap here. Um, outside Chase on 47th and Madison. Uh, this is Madison running this way. This is 47th with a tripod. About an hour ago, activists from the Rainforest Action Network and Extinction Rebellion and other groups um, brought in a truck, turned left here onto 47th Street. Uh, other activists got with orange vests, hard hats, and yellow tape, blocked off the street. From the truck came the tripod. The tripod was erected in no time. Uh, Laurel Sutherland, uh, with the climber, I just found out his name, he climbed up and then they dropped these banners outside the Chase offices. Chase offices, the reason why they're doing it here, the significance of that is that... Um, the emergency service unit is a little bit late to the party right now. Uh, but uh, the significance is that Chase is the largest uh, funders of fossil fuels. And this is their new office. Over here is their old office. Um, I guess that's it for now. They're going to take down this, this tripod here um, and only one arrest. Um, no one else was arrested. They got the three people that were holding down the legs of that tripod. Uh, they filed in three officers for safety purposes. And now there's men uh, members of the activist groups that are trying to take down this, this, this tripod. All right. That's about it. These are my feet.